Okay, you are viewing this video because you are choosing the Neuron for Your Cell project. So this video is just going to give you an overview of the Neuron. Um, please remember that in addition to viewing this video, which just gives you that brief introduction, this is the first exposure you have to any information about a Neuron. After this, you should absolutely go to the Padlet and view um, the other resources to get more specific information. This will also help those of you that are interested in, in the exceeding expectations column to view the other information that will help you with that exceeding expectations. And again, if you have any questions on any of this information, um, you can always go back and rewind this video to watch it again and take notes. Um, or you can always ask me during our check-ins. But here we go. So a neuron. A neuron is a specialized cell in the body that sends and receives messages. I have three neurons shown here and sometimes this is how the neurons are laid out where there's one neuron and it will send a message to this neuron and this neuron or it could just be if you ignore this neuron it could be one to the next. The neuron has four main parts. So I'm going to go back here. Four main parts. Here's one part where my mouse is. Here's the second. Here's the third. And here's the fourth. The first is the dendrites, which was that beginning part. Then you've got the cell body. The axon, which is this very long, slender section. And the axon terminal. The dendrites, which again are all these things here. This is the part of the neuron that receives messages, either from another neuron that was laid out here, or from a receptor cell, such as an eye cell. So when light is coming in, it will then send a message to the neuron, and then this might travel to the brain. Or from your tongue. Your tongue might um, have, or does have receptor cells that will detect chemicals in your food, which we say is taste. Those um, receptor cells on your tongue, your taste buds, will send a message to your neuron, and then that message will travel to the brain. You've got the cell body. The cell body makes all your cells proteins. So that should give you a clue about what organelle is here. Some of these cell proteins do include neurotransmitters. And we'll talk about what those are in a bit. This cell body controls all the cell functions and energy that the cell needs is generated here in that cell body. So there should be some hints in there about what organelles are there. You've got the axon, which again is this long, slender section. This, the cell body may say, okay, we're gonna send another, we received a message up here, and the cell body interprets that and says we need to send a message down and then this is where the message would travel down. Those videos that are on the Padlet will give you more information about what exactly that message is. This is insulated. Here you've got these sections. It's called myelin or the myelin sheath and it's all around here so that that message can travel really, really fast. For example, if you think about it, if you touched a hot stove you very quickly pull your hand away from that hot stove. That speed of that message is because of these neurons. You touched it, you noticed that it was hot, and you pulled your hand away. All of that shows you how fast these neurons will work, and that's a large part and due to this myelin sheath. Then you've got the axon terminal and this will send out a new message either to another neuron which you can see the dendrites of it here or to a muscle to say hey contract we have to move this limb or to an organ to say hey we need more you, we need you to create more insulin pancreas or heart we need you to beat faster things like that sending messages it goes from the cell body decides to send a message so it will send this electrical signal down here and then once that signal gets here the axon terminals release something called a neurotransmitter 
that neurotransmitter is a type of protein, or at least you can think of it as a type of protein. Most are, but remember you're in eighth grade, so we're not going to give you all the details. The neurotransmitters, there's a bunch stored up here in the axon terminals. So here you can see this image is blown up right here. These little vesicles, these little bubbles, will travel down to this cell membrane and then open up and then look at all these neurotransmitters are floating through this little gap right here. That gap is called a synapse. And then they're received on a dendrite of a new neuron. This sending messages takes a great deal of energy. And again, those um, other resources on Padlet will can tell you why it takes so much energy. But this should also be an indication to you of what organelle is in great abundance in a nerve cell because it takes so much energy to send these proteins, these neurotransmitters, across to the next cell. So that's how the message goes in between two different cells, um, with a neuron to a muscle, a neuron to another neuron. Okay, if you didn't understand this, this was a lot of information coming at you, rewind this, this isn't that long of a video, and go back and watch it again. But I want you to think, how does the shape of the neuron help it do its job? Think about messages coming from the tips of your fingers traveling all the way up your arm to your brain, and then maybe that a new message needs to travel all the way down to your feet for you to walk. These neurons have a very specific shape to help it travel such a far, or to, it's not travel, the neurons don't move. They are in a fixed position in your body, but that message travels a really long distance, and the shape of the neuron really helps with that. I also want you to think about the fact that that neuron needs a lot of energy. So what does this tell you about its organelles? Finally, the neurotransmitters, which again are a protein, so that should also tell you something about its organelles, but the neurotransmitters travel from the axon terminal to another cell by floating through the synapse, which is that space between the cells. What does this floating sound like in terms of processes that we've learned in class? Again, if you have any questions, be sure to ask and be sure to check out that Padlet.